Good morning. morning. With the peace and grace of Jesus Christ, I welcome you to worship at Second Presbyterian Church in Indianapolis on this second Sunday in the season of Advent. Whether you have joined us here in person or are with us via the live stream, we are grateful for your presence and for the gift it is to join in worship. This year at Second in the season of Advent, we are listening for the voices of the four gospel writers who each offer their unique perspective on this sacred season. This Sunday, we remember the beautifully diverse and deeply complicated family of Jesus and the peace we can find in knowing that we too are a part of his family. Whether you are a first-time visitor or a long-time member, you are welcome in this space. I invite you now to sign the blue welcome books. You'll find those on the inside end of each one of your pews. And if you would pass those down, it's a great way to learn the names of those with whom you are seated. If you are a guest, there are two ways to leave us some contact information. You can do that in the welcome book itself or using the QR code, which you will find on the back of your bulletin. Next Sunday, December the 17th, next Sunday, the Sanctuary Choir and Festival Orchestra will present our annual Christmas Music Sunday at two services, both in the sanctuary at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Those service times are 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Here's what's going to happen is one of you is going to come at 10 o'clock next Sunday. This is your warning and your opportunity not to be that person. Nine o'clock and 11 o'clock next Sunday. On Christmas Eve, and you will find this on the inside back cover of your bulletin, our Christmas Eve service schedule. We will have our fourth Sunday of Advent service at 8.15 here in the sanctuary. At 11 o'clock a.m., our children will lead a service of lessons and carols here in the sanctuary. Our evening services will be at 7, 9, and 11. Here's your pro tip for 7 and 9. The prelude will begin 20 minutes before each of those services, and if you want a good seat, come early and come find that seat, particularly for the 7 and 9 o'clock services on Christmas Eve. Several holiday events are happening this week. Today at 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m., our sanctuary choir performs with the Carmel Symphony Orchestra as part of their holiday pops concert at the Palladium. On Tuesday evening, Women at Second will host an annual holiday ornament exchange party. On Wednesday evening, the youth of the church will have their ugly Christmas sweater party while the families of young children are invited to help our deacons assemble groceries for Christmas with our Northside neighbors. Music and Fine Arts will host another Visio Divina spiritual practice on Thursday. Our young adults Christmas party is this Friday evening. And next Saturday, 122 families will be served by our Christmas with our Northside Neighbors program. You are welcome to come as a part of that event as well. You can find all of this information on our website, secondchurch.org slash events. Of course, your gifts are what make this ministry possible. We are now 76% of the way to our commitments goal for the 2024 annual operating budget. If you have not yet pledged for next year, please take a moment to consider your call to generous giving and then make your commitment at secondchurch.org give or using one of the cards you'll find in the pew racks or in the narthex on your way out. And now let us gather ourselves, body, mind, heart, and soul, as we experience worship in the presence of God.